In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can remove the grey elements from Mid Journey's generated colouring book pages. I'm doing this in Affinity Designer 2. It'll work just as well in Affinity Designer 1, and I'm sure it'll work in other bits of software. I'm just using Affinity because I've got it. Now, of course, you can remove backgrounds in things like the paid version of Canva. But the method I'm going to show you here, you can also use to remove the grey interior or the coloured interior that Mid Journey sometimes generates. I release videos on KDP several times a week, covering things like keyword research, income reports, latest trends, controversies things like that so if you're interested in anything to do with kdp please do like comment and subscribe to the channel it really does help me out so without further ado here's how you remove the annoying gray bits from a mid-journey coloring page so we've made some images in mid-journey for our coloring book and it's given you a good image, but you're left with grey elements. Like this has got a grey background. Sometimes it'll shade or add colour to the actual image itself. It's no good. I'm going to show you how, using Affinity Designer, you can remove the grey so you're just left with a clear image in the middle. So this is the image in Affinity Designer. In my previous video, I showed you how to upscale this image, so I'll link to that in the description. I upscaled it using Affinity Photo 2. This is the image. It's got a grey background, which we do not want. And just to show you, it is grey. There you go. There's the image. There's a might appear on your page. But we've got a grey background. We don't want that. So to remove that in Affinity Designer, we we'll first need to go to the Pixel Persona. And then we're going to use the selection brush tool and here is the cursor here you can make the brush bigger or smaller by using the left and right square bracket keys this is probably an okay size you can make it bigger to tackle bigger areas but when you come in for the fine detail shrink it down here are some options up here I use snap edges and I sometimes use soft edge. Just play about with it and see what setting suits you best. And now I'm going to go and select all of this grey area and you know leave the black behind. It's not as laborious as it sounds. So I'll just zoom in. And as you can see it's selecting chunks of the grey. So I'll just sit round and select it all and then we'll zoom in and we'll see if there's any errors that needs to be corrected. So I've selected all of the exterior but inevitably it's selected some of the interior as well. And we're going to correct that. Again it doesn't take long so don't worry. I'll zoom in so I can get a better view. And as you can see the dotted line here we want that to be at the exterior of the image. So to correct this error, we'll hold down, I'll just make the brush a bit smaller first, hold down Alt and do the same, you know, just start brushing that line backwards. So you brush in all the spikes. Take your time and be as thorough as you can. But it is easy, I'm just moving it around and it's doing it for us. You can even zoom right in and 
and we'll bring the brush size down. Bring the brush, brush size down and get right into the nooks and crannies. Get into every edge that you want. And it doesn't really take that long, you know, it, it's quite intelligent. You just click near the edge and it, it takes it there. So I'll quickly go around and do all of that. And if you make any overcorrections, just go in and you know draw it down the line again. And so that is everything selected. Again, you know, if you've got the time, go all the way to the end. This is just for illustration purposes, so I'm not going to bother doing that. We can even get into these little gaps between the lines by making the brush small enough and just clicking in there. And that looks to be everything. So now all we need to do is to actually is to delete the grey colour we don't want. So I have now selected my selection and just press delete. There you go, you are left with a nice clean image. If you want to, you could even select these interior bits and delete them if you're not happy with their whiteness, but that's fine by me. So now we just need to deselect by going to select, deselect, and now we can select the image. And I'll copy that and put it on a new white page. There you go. That is now your colouring book image. I've got a tidy up round here, but you get the idea. Select the bits you don't want with the selection brush tool and then delete them. Now you can remove backgrounds in software like Canva if you've got the pro version. This gives you a bit more control, but also, as I've said, it also lets you select the grey on the interior and you can get rid of that and turn your image into a, a colouring book image rather than a grey scale. I will just quickly show you that. It is the same principle. So here is the, another cactus image. This time there's green in the middle. I want to get rid of that green. So here we are with a cactus. It's got green in there and we want it gone. There are two ways we can do this. The first is to select the outline of the entire image using the selection brush tool and then copying that as a new image or exporting that as a new image. The other option is to do what we did with the background and just select the bits we don't want. You decide what's best for you. I'm going to try and just select all the green bits and delete them. Now inevitably you will grab some things, bits of detail that you don't want to grab, but don't worry because we can sort that out at the end. So I'm just going to roughly grab all of the green. So it's all of the green grab. Now I'm just going to zoom in and deselect some of these spikes that I want to keep. And I'll zoom in and get that properly. So we'll bring your brush size down and hold down the Alt key and just select these bits here. So I'll do this and I'll show you the result in a couple of minutes. Well that'll do for the time being. I've selected most but not all of these because I couldn't be bothered. And now I'll just you know, select the selection and tap delete. And that's all the green gone again. You know, that needs to be taken care of but you get the idea. And I'll just select the full image and I'll put it on a white background just so you can see what it would look like. And there you go, that is your new colouring book image with the green removed, apart from that bit there which I missed. But you can be a bit more careful than I was. It's all about just taking your time, selecting the bit you don't want and getting rid of them. It's not perfect but using this method and also using the method I showed you 
in the previous video on upscaling the image, resampling and resizing, you'll get a better quality image with a little bit of effort. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.